What's going on, Decred citizens? Welcome to another news update covering all of the awesome stuff that's been going on within the Decred project. As usual, lots to cover, so I'll get right to it. I'll start by talking about the five different proposals currently up for discussion on Decred's public platform, Politea, which you can view for yourself by going to proposals.decred.org. First up is the DCR on-chain research phase two from Permeable Nino. He requests $16,000 to cover eight to 10 months of work, continuing his research of the Decred economy from the first phase, but with more varied outputs. Long form posts will be reduced in response to feedback from phase one, with more medium length posts and a monthly newsletter that provides updates produced with already established tools. Permeable Nino says this analysis will help users better understand DCR BTC market cycles over time and how the different forces within the Decred ecosystem impact each other. Next is the Decred OnChain, a research and charting resource from Checkmate. This proposal requests $7,800 to develop a Decred charting website. The site would have five live chart types with associated explanatory texts. The selection of charts is based on Permeable Nino's and Checkmate's research, and the charts would be linked to their papers on the relevant subjects. Also on the team are Nashido and Pablito of the DCR comic working on design, Pavel as a developer, and Stan for user interface and product. Design of the site has already begun and some wireframes and other assets are included in the proposal. The proposal aims for a 12 week delivery. And then we have the TV marketing for Decred proposal from Reese Irish of Web 3.0 Blockchain Transition. This proposal offers to produce either a two part $39,000 series or a six part $110,000 series of seven to 12 minute interviews to be broadcasted by FMW TV's broadcast network. Their proposal has claims like TV exposure has the potential to increase token price by 901% which has been seen as a red flag by commentators. Questions have also been asked about whether the high profile TV channel names being dropped are reflective of what would be delivered. So far, there are no responses from the proposal owner. Next is Coin Story, the history and evolution of cryptocurrencies by David Stansell. He requests a thousand USD for the sponsorship of his book publication. The book is about the history of cryptocurrencies and will feature a limited mention of Decred in the altcoins section. If the proposal is approved, the Decred logo and link would appear as a sponsor of the book on its website. David is also seeking funding from other sources and estimates that he will need around $8,000 to publish the book. In response to a comment, David suggests that the book may be open sourced in the future, but this was not part of the immediate plan. Two early chapters of the book are available on its website. And finally, we have the Decred Latin America Marketing and Events Proposal by Elian. This proposal requests $46,000 US dollars to continue the activities of the Latin America team for six months. It provides an in-depth account of the first phase, which saw all later events being canceled due to COVID-19. The Latin America team have paid deposits up front for some events, which will be carried over to whenever these events can resume. The proposal reports spending of $82,000, which is $10,000 over the first proposal's budget of $72,000. A version of this proposal on GitHub has tables with detailed breakdowns of spending on the proposal. The Latin America team has shifted focus to online activities, and for the next phase, plan to focus on the creation of a number of Spanish media products, a monthly translation of Decred Journal and a video version, two monthly community calls, two monthly Crypto 101 shows, and one monthly ad hoc panel. Other areas of focus going forward are public relations and enhancing Decred's presence in Spanish crypto media as well as developer recruitment, academic awareness, and user support. They created a video talking about the proposal, which can be viewed on YouTube. There was also a marketing in Iran pre-proposal discussion that took place on Reddit and on chat.decred.org. The proposal discusses the formation of a dedicated group to build Iran's Decred community by holding events and creating content in Persian, including videos, blogs, and a website. They also wish to influence exchanges to support Decred so it can be exchanged with Iran's local currency. Voting on all these proposals is easily done in Decred's graphical wallet to Crediton in the Governance tab. If you're a stakeholder, make sure to cast your votes on these when the time is due. The new Android and iOS version 1.5 mobile wallets by Rayday Group are now on testnet with some major improvements. These wallets have had an improvement in their visuals. They also allow users to access and use their mobile wallet without having to write down their seed right away. This allows users to quickly get in and play around with the wallet and allowing them to write down their wallet seed at a more convenient time. There were also a number of exciting development updates. Decred's Block Explorer now displays privacy participation on the circulation chart. Currently, 23% of all DCR has been mixed. The mixed transaction outputs are now displayed as well. The majority attack cost calculator has also been added, and the site is now improved and faster. Decred dev Marco Piraboom previewed an image of some of his decentralized treasury work. Luke Powell broke it down by saying the new T-Spend opcode is working on SimNet. T-Spend is a treasury transaction that has to be approved by the DCR stakeholders before funds can be redeemed. 
Once this work is integrated, all Treasury fund expenditures must be approved by Decred stakeholders. Luke also revealed that Politea is being upgraded to now have a runoff vote where there are multiple proposals competing against each other. Lightning Dev Mateus provided us with a first demo of swapping a Lightning Network BTC invoice for a Decred Lightning Network invoice on Testnet. And both invoices have been settled. So basically what happens is that this service right here, uh, Testnet Signal Tech, it can connect to both networks at the same time and it can swap invoices from one network to the other allowing you to pay a bitcoin invoice with uh, directly from decred or decrediton in this case decred's bug bounty program has been updated with a total of 123 submissions so far with 13 of them being eligible for a payout check it out at bounty.decred.org once again dcr was in a number of media articles which were secured by mon pr decred project lead jq compile was quoted on the bitcoin halvening on Cointelegraph saying miners costs are effectively fixed, so to maintain the same profit margins they are incentivized to double the price at which they sell their Bitcoin. I expect this supply shock will drive the Bitcoin price up by moving offers from miners up substantially. This quote was also included on Zero Hedge. Jake was also quoted in Reuters and Nasdaq saying a pandemic is very much a deflationary type event. Economic activity is going to take a real nosedive. The halving of Bitcoin is a necessary deflationary action. These quotes about the halving were ultimately included in over 100 media articles in over 21 countries. Remember, Decred does not halve, its block reward is reduced by 1% every 21 days instead. Now let's take a peek at some of the latest podcasts and media appearances that have occurred. There was a new Decred in Depth episode featuring Dex developers Brian Stafford and John Chapelo. Do you guys want to go over some of the advantages versus using a centralized exchange? Yeah, I, I mean, to me, it's it's quite 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 simple. I mean, the first is that, and the most obvious advantage is that you never have to relinquish control of your funds. You, you trade straight out of your own wallet and directly with the counterparty. Um, so again, the the Decred Dex facilitates communication to establish the terms of the contract. You know, but by the time the first par party broadcasts the first transaction, the process is totally an over uh, auto drive and overdrive. And the DEX's only role is really to just watch and make sure everybody does their part and, and keep that order that I was talking about. Um, and then the other real advantage is that you never have to reveal any private information about yourself. As far as the DEX is concerned, you're just a, like a 256 bit number that paid a registration fee. So the DEX never holds or transmits any funds either and uh, it completely avoids the need for uh, these privacy intrusive know your customer requirements. Um, so, you know, just uh, keeping control of your funds and personal privacy to me are the most powerful advantages of using the DEX versus a centralized exchange. You ask 10 people this question around Decred and I, you probably get 10 different answers. Uh, for me, whether it's worth it to add more and more coins, I mean, it's resounding. Yes, there's not even a question about it. There's something like $80 billion USD worth of cryptocurrency out there. And I want every single bit of that to be seamlessly interchangeable with Decred. So uh, if you ask me the question, that's always going to be yes, we should add that coin. <laughs> Decred project lead Jake Yocompiat was on the Gold, Ghosts and Guns podcast with Tom Luongo to discuss the case for a return to sovereign money. You know, fiat banking, people can effectively snap their fingers and make fake money appear and you can spend it and do whatever you want with it like it's quote unquote real. And, and just that, just to go, that's not reasonable. Okay, well, what is reasonable? What if we told everybody how much money was going to be made from here until, you know, we stopped making money? Well, and, and well, take it one step further and then look at what you guys have done with Decred, which is that you've taken, you've, you've, you pay those guys, they get a certain amount, the guys who did the calculations, but also the stakeholders themselves get a, get a payback for staking their, um, their savings as to be the guys who will validate. So the validators, this is the interesting part about the proof of stake system within Decred, which is that if you own Decred, you can, you can, as opposed to just holding it in a wallet, you can hold it and you can put it back into the system to be one of the people who gets, who validates the proof of work blocks. And then you get part of the payout when the new block is validated. A new Rough Consensus episode aired titled Deflation, Dollars, and Decred. The cost at which we get uh, the type of uh, settlement assurances that we get with uh, you know things like Bitcoin and Decred, it's just super underpriced. Like People don't get it. 
Um, and you know, it, it's just it, it's just like it fills so many gaps that we don't have in the fiat world. Like you get the high assurance, international sediment, you know, ease of access, you know, the higher yield when you're like storing the the money as well. It's easier to self custody, and then you also have like you know, in terms of market cycles. You have, you know, we're seeing a market cycle currently literally flesh out in the decred realm, right? We're going through a minor capitulation. We're going through a staking capitulation, right? The, you know, the value that's sitting in the staking pool as a percentage of the supply is at like, you know, record lows almost. Um, it, it's a relative calculation that you have to do, though. It's like uh, on a, like a, if you divide it by like the 180 day average or something like that. And then you have like the mining capitulation block time spiked, you know, uh, over two seconds slower than the, the target block time over like a three week span. So you have a lot of different things that, you know, cryptocurrencies offer that are like, you know, like you said, check, like in terms of like automation, you have like an automated uh, fix and like virus removal. You know, if you consider like a bear market of virus, right, um, it, it has like its own version of like a fever kicking in to like burn out the, uh, you know, the bad uh, organisms that are like eating away at your system. Decred's Aiken Sawyer was on NASDAQ Trade Talks to speak about governance in the upcoming decks. And it's great to have you back with us on trade talks and there's some big news with Decred, the imminent launch of the decentralized exchange. One of the issues and problems we found in the blockchain space is it's really difficult to exchange between tokens without leveraging centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken and, some, and Binance, some of the larger exchanges. And we think that, you know, based on the ethos of what blockchain is built on, which is permissionless exchange, that there needs to be a permissionless way for people um, to exchange tokens and exchange value. And that's part of the impetus of building out a decentralized exchange of DEX um, that will be truly permissionless. There'll be no intermediaries. Anyone can kind of spin up and get on board and exchange value with without any additional cost or middlemen in between. Decred on-chain analyst Checkmate was on Nuggets News to talk about the bull case for Decred. With the hybrid model, what it actually does is it takes both of those, it takes the strengths of both of those systems, and it actually mitigates a lot of the weaknesses of both. So um, just a quick overview of how Decred works. You have the proof of work miners who must burn the electricity, solve the initial block and put all the transactions in. The next block starts being mined and they have to put up, the miners put up that block and you must have five, uh, sorry, three out of the five randomly selected tickets. They all have to approve it. Now that means that those tickets, if they're running a particular version of the code um, and the block shows up and it meets all of the consensus rules, then it will be approved and the miner will get their, their full scale reward. If they get four out of those tickets, four out of those five tickets, then they will lose 20% um, of the, the block reward. If they get three, they will lose 40%. Um, and if they get less than two, the block actually gets rejected and the miner has to redo the work. Decred was present at the virtual consensus 2020 event. Decred was allocated 50 minutes of video presentation, which was divided among devs working on Lightning, Politea, the DEX, Checkmate's on-chain analysis, and a project overview from project lead Jake Yocompaia. This was followed by a 10 minute Q&A which has yet to be aired, but will be uploaded to Decred's YouTube channel when it's available. Here's a peek at the presentation. We view trading fees as a centralizing force. Um, and we're the, so because of that, we're the first DEX that collects no trading fees. Because we collect no trading fees, we're sort of able to remove the role of the DEX from the picture in large part. If I had to provide, you know, a one sentence description of what DEX does, we help traders find each other and communicate and that's it. And even though the DEX API is sort of a familiar market API with markets and orders and an order book, the underlying mechanics are really quite different. Once you are matched and you agree on a price, the DEX sort of just steps aside and observes you while you trade. You trade directly with other traders through these pure four transaction atomic swaps. The service Transact now supports USD and many other fiat pairs for buying Decred with a debit card. Permable Nino released another Decred on-chain series titled Mining Pulse, where he explores the Decred mining ecosystem, saying in the article, price leads, miners follow. He concludes by saying block tames are a high signal means to track mining extremes and trends over time and help give users a glance at the current state of mining without having deep subject matter expertise. Formal Verification Crypto Research released an article diving into Decred. Always good to see more people going down the rabbit hole. CoinMonks also published an article exploring Decred's return patterns. Thanks for tuning into this week's news update. If you'd like to dig deeper into Decred, check out Decred.org. And thanks for watching. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.